Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to start new topic that is Unit Eight, Electricity. We'll read and discuss textbook page number eighty-eight till ninety. So please open these pages and write date and day on them. Learning objectives. In this lesson, students will be able to learn that how is electricity used and what is static electricity. Textbook page number eighty-eight. As we are starting a new topic, so we are going to discuss the meaning of the topic first. What is electricity? It is a form of energy that exists between the particles which are charged, or it is because of the charged particles. There are two type of charges: positive charges and negative charges. Big question is that how is electricity used? We know that there are different types of electric appliances in our homes, offices, and schools that run by getting electricity. Some of these are computers, televisions, multimedia, or iron. We also use electricity to charge our cell phones and tablets that can store electricity in their batteries and can be used after a long time afterwards. Actually, electricity is the thing. that has made our life very much comfortable and easier question number 1 complete the words to label the pictures you have to complete the spellings here television computer video game plug wires and socket question number 2 what do the three appliances above need to make them work how do they get it It's a question about these three appliances: television, computer, and video game. How do they work? They work by getting electricity. The second part of the question is that how do they get the electricity? It is because of the other three things, which are plug, wires, and socket. Along with these appliances, the wires are connected. The wires are connected with the plug. When these appliances are plugged in into the socket and they are switched on, they start getting electricity and they start their work. As long as these electric appliances will get electricity, they will do their work, and when they will be switched off, or then they will be plugged out, they will stop doing their work. But there are some appliances, such as laptop or video games, that have batteries in them and can store electricity in them for a long period of time. Then there is question number three: How have electric devices improved human lives? electric devices are very important for us as they have improved our lives as they have made our lives comfortable for example air conditioner it can make the room cool so we can stay there and we can take rest there so it make the life comfortable there are different types of devices which are like washing machine and kitchen appliances that make our lives easier for us there are some more appliances for example construction tools that have made very complex tasks so much easier some more devices such as cellular phone tablet and computer have made the world a global village as they have different type of applications in them with the help of which we can connect and communicate to the people who are living so far from us so all these electric devices that we have discussed they are equally important for all of us as they are making our lives easier and comfortable then there is a think question what lights the night as you can see that in the picture here we can see the stars the stars have their own light they shine so brightly in the night and they light the night sky then there is one more object that is sun, that is moon it does not has its own light but it reflects the light of the sun and it lights the night as well moving towards next page which is textbook page number 89 lesson 1 what is static electricity to understand about static electricity first we have to discuss that what are atoms and what are they made up of atoms are the tiny building blocks that make up all the matter all the matter like solid liquid and gases that we can see around us or that we can feel around us are made up of atoms atoms are tiny means they are extremely small but 
atoms are made up of even smaller particles which are called as protons electrons and neutrons protons have positive charge on them electrons have negative charge on them and neutrons are neutral neutral means they have no charge on them today we are going to discuss about protons and electrons as the topic is electricity it is about the electric charges which have positive and negative charge on them so there are two types of electric charges positive charges and negative charges positive charges are on protons and negative charges lie on neutrons on most of the objects there is same amount of positive charges and negative charges okay there is one more thing if there is one positive charge it is in front of another positive charge they will repel each other if there are two negative charges together they will also repel each other because they are the same charges but if there will be one positive charge it will be attracted to the negative charge if there will be a negative charge it will be attracted to a positive charge so on most of the objects there are the same amount of positive charges and negative charges one positive charge can easily cancel one negative charge so when the positive charges are cancelled by the negative charges or when negative charges are cancelled by the positive charges the object become neutral neutral mean it does not carry any charge the transfer of charges can also occur between the negatively charged bodies and the neutral objects the negatively charged particles can easily move from negatively bodies negatively charged bodies to the neutral objects so when this happens negative charges start moving from one object to another objects if the objects are too close to each other the negative charges start moving from one object to another object so in this way there is an excess of positive charges on one object and excess of negative charges on the other object this is called static electricity now hopefully after this discussion it will be easy for you to do question number 3 that is match the columns now we are moving towards question number 1 once again question number 1 is what is causing the light between these wires as we have discussed many things about the electric charges that there are two type of electric charges these are positive and negative and the negatively charged particles can easily move it means the electrons can move so the light produces because of the electrons which are trying to get into the metal wire the electrons which are moving to through the metal wire they cause the light moving to next textbook page that is textbook page number 90 the topic is how charged objects behave it is discussed before that there are two type of charges positive and negative the positive charges repel the positive charges negative charges repel the negative charges but if the charges are opposite if one is positive and the other is negative they will be attracted towards each other to understand more about it you can do an activity take a balloon and inflate into it or blow into it and then tie a knot then rub the balloon on your hair as we have discussed that when the part when the objects are close to each other the negatively charges start moving from one object to another object so in this case what will happen when you will rub your when you will rub the balloon on your hair the negative charges from your hair will move to the balloon so there will be an excess of negative charges on the balloon and there will be an excess of positive charges on your hair so they will start attracting towards each other and your hair will stand up as you can see in the picture they will be attracted to the balloon it's a very interesting activity must try it at your home then we are going to discuss about the electric forces what an electric force is it is a force that acts between the positive and negatively charged particles it is a force or it is a push or pull between the two charge objects this electric force act in a different way for example electric forces can move the lightweight neutral objects or lift them into the air to understand more about it we can do another activity so take another balloon an inflated one or you can inflate it or you can blow into it and rub it against your hair you know that when you will rub it against your hair 
the negative charges from your hair will transfer to the ball and uh, transfer to the balloon and balloon will become negatively charged then bring that balloon near to the wall if there will be an excess of positive charges on the balloon on the wall the balloon will be attached to the wall for some time this is because of electric forces as we have discussed that electric forces can move the lightweight neutral objects or lift them it into the air so it is just because of these that the balloon is going to be attached with the wall for some time if you want to understand more about the electric charges and electric forces you can do another activity which is mentioned in question number 6 what might happen if you place a negatively charged balloon close to small paper scraps so what you can do is again take an inflated balloon or blow into it and tie it with the knot then uh, take some small paper scrap rub the balloon against your hair and bring it closer to the small paper scrap and then see that what happens now there is an activity that you have to do at home strength of force gather lightweight objects of different sizes such as scrap of papers or cloth set them on a table rub an inflated balloon against your hair hold the balloon close to the objects does the balloon attract any objects which ones okay now you have to do this activity as your homework perform the activity there are many activities that you can perform at home and i hope you will love doing these activities there is one more notebook task you have to answer the question how have electric devices improved human lives we have discussed in on textbook page number 88 so you can take help from there and you can also research it on the internet with any uh, adult and then please write your answer in the notebook you can write as many answer as you think are right i hope you enjoy today's lesson see you next time goodbye